you can't kill an elephant with a cricket bat you need powerful weapons same way you can't destroy yourself just with your ordinary mind you need your extraordinary powers especially my sanyasis you are under the protection of cosmos directly even with that if you are able to destroy yourself or put yourself into sickness or depression then you must be really really using all your extraordinary powers against me and against you only one advice word i can tell you don't do it so from today you will align all your thinking words and actions towards the authentic identity you want to create and will not allow the incompletions to interfere in any of this three will not allow your incompletions to influence into any of these three that's all is today's instruction today's satsang instruction you are every thought every word every action you will go on be aligning to your authentic identity you will not allow your incompletions to interfere in your authenticity practice and listen this is the punch line please come to the space of listening this is the punch even if you fail to become authentic you will not give up on you again and again become authentic because there is every probability you may fail in first attempt second attempt but next 3 months you will go on be aligning every word you utter every thought you have every action you do is aligned to the identity which you describe and got the blessing your authentic identity if you have sent it to my facebook and i press the like it is already blessed so start aligning to that identity you don't need to have a self doubt i don't know whether the identity i created is the most authentic don't worry about it after you establish on this identity you may find you need to develop little bit or you may not feel the need also if you feel at that time we will see how to do it now don't worry you need some base on which you have to stand if you are going on questioning that very base you will never stand so drop your sdhd now align yourself to this identity which you got it blessed as i said even if you fail nothing wrong go on working align it back failing is not wrong thinking you are a failure is wrong failing is not wrong thinking you are a failure is wrong this is the facebook punchline today for all of you failing is not wrong thinking you are a failure is wrong i bless you all let you all 
radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching and causing eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Vidadi, Bengaluru. Phone 080-2727-9999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com slash lifeblissfoundation ನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Sri Mahans, Mahans, Tanedars, Kotari, visitors, viewers, owners of Sarvanya Pita, everyone sitting with us through Nityananda TV, Sadhana TV, Ara TV, Nakshatra TV and two-way video conferencing. and having nine adiksha all over the world and in nityananda sabha in varanasi i welcome all of you with my love and respects city is sitting with us kuala lumpur adinam los angeles adinam oklahoma adinam vancouver canada seattle adinam ಸ್ಯಾನೋಜೆ ಆಧೀನ ಓಹಾಯೋ ಆಧೀನ ನ್ಯೂಜಿಲೆಂಡ್ ಆಧೀನ ಟೊರಂಟೋ ಆಧೀನ ಫಿಲಡೆಲ್ಫಿಯಾ ಮಾನ್ಕ್ಲೇರ್ ಚೈನಾ ಮೆಕ್ಸಿಕೋ ಡಬ್ಲಿನ್ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರ್ ಆಧೀನ ಸ್ಪೇನ್ ಟ್ರಿನಿಡಾ ಟೊಬಾಗೋ ಡೆಕೋಟಾ ಡೂನ್ಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬಿಡದಿ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಆಧೀನ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ಮಾಂಚೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಡೊಂಕಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಆಧೀನ ಕಸ್ತೌ ಕ್ರೊಯೇಷಿಯಾ ರಾಜಬಾಳಯ ಆಧೀನ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ವರ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಸಮ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸೀಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ so if i explain the basic concepts the truth expressed in this verse will become more experiential for all of you when you are tired of dreaming or you can't handle dreaming anymore you decide to wake up if there is a nightmare if there is a fantasy dream where the dream becomes too sweet or too harsh to handle then you wake up same way the waking state if you make it too sweet or too harsh you will become awakened making it too harsh becoming awakened is the lifestyle of renunciation making it too sweet 
and waking up his lifestyle of devotion. <laughs> Listen. I'll repeat in the dream state. If you see two tigers are chasing you or snakes are chasing you, it's harsh to handle. You will wake up. Same way, if it is too fantastic, exactly the same place you always wanted to be is there, the same person with whom you wanted to be is there, you will suddenly wake up. If it is too sweet, you will wake up. Too harsh, you will wake up. So the dream state is sustained in the struggle, not in the extremes. Listen. Only in the struggle, the dream continues, not in the extremes. Same way, In the waking state, if it is extreme sweetness, you will be awakened. Or extreme harshness, you will be awakened. But as long as there is a struggle between these two, the struggle between the extreme sweetness and harshness, greed and fear, is what is your incompletion. As long as there is a struggle, you will continue to maintain this waking state. This state, you will continue to maintain. If anyone takes over, it's all over. Allowing the lifestyle of extreme harshness and Awakening, getting awakened is the lifestyle of renunciation. A naga, a gori. Allowing the extreme sweetness and awakening is the lifestyle of devotion, a Shaivite. Using both the process and getting awakened is a lifestyle of Nityanandite. <laughs> I use all available possible methods, process, kriyas, to help you into awakening. Whether it is nightmare or fantasy dream, you will wake up. You will wake up. You will wake up. Understand? Neither fantasy, dream, nor nightmare will let you continue sleep. Same way, neither extreme harshness nor the extreme sweetness will help you to continue your waking state. It will lead to awakening. It will lead to awakening. I tell you, 
if life itself brings that harshness and awakens you if life itself brings that sweetness and awakens you you will be wasting lot of time you voluntarily getting into that state cooperating for your awakening is what i call seeking it is not that every night you wake up with a nightmare or fantasy dream many nights you wake up because you are too tired understand same way in your life also it is not that all the time you can get the extreme harsh dream harsh reality or extreme pleasant reality creating either extreme harshness of reality or extreme pleasantness of reality leads to your awakening cooperating with the life to create extreme harshness or extreme pleasantness is seeking either with the concept of shiva you can make every moment of your life extremely pleasant you know this is the place sada shiva walked this is the very air he breathed this is the very forest he and devi spent so much of time every tree here is the descendant of the trees which had the fortune of having darshan of sada shiva still the moon and the sun is a living witnesses you can go on cherishing this and get into the extreme pleasantness that will lead to awakening or you can deny everything including your own existence and that will lead to extreme harshness again you will be awakened use any one cooperate with any one allow the awakening to happen that's all is essence of life that's all is essence of life your self doubt self hatred self denial neither allows you to the ex- experience extreme harshness or extreme pleasantness if you go through pleasantness you doubt it no 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 this cannot be permanent or eternal 
If you go through harshness, you build a hope. No, no, I will get out of it and I will have pleasantness, joy one day. The hope stops you going to the extreme harshness. Doubt stops you going to the extreme pleasantness. And you don't allow both. Continue to enjoy your struggling state in completion. Because only that will maintain your ordinary waking state.